In this video, we're gonna be covering the best home theater receivers for 2022. This year's list spans a large price range and we had a lot of fun picking out what we felt were truly the best performers in many categories. From entry level to the best we've ever heard, there is sure to be a model that is best for your home theater system needs. So if you're thinking about upgrading your home theater receiver, you may not wanna choose one until you watch this. Now, let's get started. Before we begin, let's quickly cover the most important specs and features a really good home theater receiver will have in 2022. We'll take a look at the number of channels, preamp outs, Dolby Atmos capability, watts per channel, arc, app control, Bluetooth, music streaming, room EQ, and finally, if there's a phono section. Now, if you aren't familiar with what each of these features are, we'll link in the description our video on how to choose a home theater receiver. In that video, we break down the meaning and importance behind all these specs and features. So if you aren't familiar with them, I recommend watching that video first. All right, up first, we have the best home theater receiver under $750. If you had to put together a long list of all the features one might want on a decent surround sound receiver, then the Denon AVR X1700H would pretty much check off all of your boxes. This one is a 7.2 channel 8K AV receiver, virtually nothing is missing from the latest high-speed video capabilities with support for 8K and HDCP 2.3, you name it, it has it, including Dolby Vision support. It even has voice control from Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant. With six HDMI connections on the rear, you should be well covered there too. You'll even be able to get into Dolby Atmos by assigning the rear surround pair of amp channels to a pair of Atmos speakers. You can use Wi-Fi or a hardwired connection to bring it online, which opens up app control plus music streaming through Denon Teos technology, which gives you access to almost all of the major music services. Bluetooth, AirPlay, and Spotify Connect are also on board, and this even has a Bluetooth transmitter to send the sound to your Bluetooth headphones for late night listening. We were also impressed by the fact that Denon included a front panel USB jack where you can connect up a stick or a hard drive and it will decode up to 24-bit, 192kHz, ALAC, FLAC, and WAVE lossless files, as well as DSD, 2.8MHz, and 5.6MHz tracks. It's also room tested, which is pretty impressive for a somewhat basic receiver. In terms of room correction, the Odyssey Multi-Q XT is a very good room EQ and setup system that is included. Just connect up the mic and off it goes. This version of Odyssey will give you some dynamic volume features for late night listening and some neat ways to fine tune two subwoofers individually. To get all of these features under $750 with Dolby Atmos is pretty amazing, making this our top choice in the sub $750 range. Up next is the best home theater receiver under $1,000. The RX A2A is a 7.2 channel AV receiver from Yamaha's Aventage receiver line, which represents their best of the best. This is the entry level model that gets you into the Yamaha sound for a reasonable price. The units in this series are all about better audio. The Yamaha engineers go over every component electrical path, and they must select the best materials to produce what they call true sound. The all-important DACs are 384 kilohertz, 32-bit for improved audio quality. Yamaha was one of the first companies to introduce surround sound technology way back when home theater first got started. And the RX A2A includes many enhancements that come from their surround sound DNA. You'll find both Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, but also 17 DSP programs and some virtual speaker tech for an even more immersive experience. What's really neat about this is if you have a situation where you can't get wires into your ceiling for Atmos speakers, you can get a similar effect with just using Yamaha's included virtualization tech. You'll have all the latest video tech with seven HDMI inputs and support for Dolby Vision, HDR10+, HTCP 2.3, and 8K 60 frames per second. Now Yamaha's known in the professional music industry for their great instruments and products you will find at every phase of both recording music and live performances. This means they know quite a bit about how to get good sound in any environment. Now this led them to develop their own system for fine tuning your room to the sound its very best. They call it YPAO, which is short for Yamaha Parametric Room Acoustic Optimizer. Basically, it measures your speaker's characteristics and room reflections to get you a sound that is close to the mixing room where that soundtrack was born in. And best yet, it is fully automatic and works very well if you just follow a few simple steps. Yamaha is also known for having its own music streaming system called MusicCast that has all the top streaming services, but better yet, 
you can use other MusicCast products in your home for a whole home music experience. If you prefer to use AirPlay 2 or Bluetooth, these are also included as well. To keep everything on target within this price category, Yama does put the budget where they would have to allocate to Apple, Amazon, and Google into better performing audio parts. So if you're looking for voice control, it is missing here on the RX A2A, but then again, that great sound is one of the reason many buyers of Yamaha receivers are repeat customers. People just love their warm and compelling sound. When we move into the next level of home theater receivers, starting a bit above $1,000, we get into models that have seriously good amplifiers inside. You'll get bigger power supplies and some serious weight. And this is the case with the Marantz SR5015 with its great amplifier section. The amp channels can also be configured in any way you can imagine, including a second room. HDMI connections cover eight between the front and back panel, plus it supports an 8K input and output. Another great audio feature is the fact that all seven channels have preamp outs, which allows you to add bigger amps later should you wish to grow your system. From streaming to app control, just about everything is included here, with AirPlay 2, Bluetooth, Heos for music services, and you'll have all the major voice control options from Apple, Google, or Amazon. HDR and Dolby Vision are also supported, and for the vinyl lover, there's a pretty decent moving magnet phono section included too. One big reason to move up to Marantz is its great audio quality. It has a massive power supply for a receiver in this price range and uses all discrete components, giving it a rich full sound that also controls your speakers better than anything we've heard in this price range. You'll be able to get the most out of it with its super easy setup system. It literally walks you through every single step, making it almost impossible to miss anything. The Marantz on-screen GUI setup is by far the best we've ever seen. Once you've done this setup, just run the Odyssey Room EQ test and it will optimize the speakers to your room. Another great feature for late night listening is the dynamic volume feature, which reduces the loud explosions you might hear in an action movie. While you could find some units with more features or amp channels around the same price range, None of them can beat the classic warm sound Marantz delivers with this SR5015. We care about audio, which is why the SR5015 wins as our best value Dolby Atmos receiver. Now, Ankyo rocked the home theater receiver world in late 2021 when they introduced the RZ50. This AV receiver has nine powered channels, including preamp outputs for 11 plus two subs, allowing you to add more power later on if you want to go for a full-blown 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos speaker configuration. All six HDMI inputs are 8K HDCP 2.3 compatible with two independent outputs that are both 8K capable, unless you use one for zone two, which makes the second one limited to 4K, with eARC on the main one. Now, Ankyo has always been known for leading the pack with useful features, and the RZ50 is packed full of them. You'll have app control, voice control, several ways to get music streaming onto it, and bi-directional Bluetooth, which allows you to send the sound to a pair of headphones for late night listening. Another pretty unique feature that Sonos ecosystem fans will enjoy is the ability to connect a Sonos port to the unit and it will show up in the Sonos app. You'll have full control within the Sonos app and you can add up to three Sonos ports to the RZ50. But the big reason for the success of the RZ50 is the fact that it has Dirac Live. Now, Dirac has been a favorite room correction system of audio connoisseurs for almost a decade, but this has previously only been found in much more expensive units. You'll see it in things like the Datasat RS20i, which sells for over $20,000. To be able to get this great system for the price of the RZ50 is pretty incredible. The unit comes with a microphone for setup, but if you're serious about implementing Dirac properly, we suggest you should probably purchase an aftermarket microphone like the Mini DSP for around $100. Next, as we move into the $2,500 plus range and up, the flavor of things start to change. You'll start to see units from companies that focus their efforts more on the best sound possible. If their engineers had to decide between paying royalties to Alexa voice control or to put in better parts, they're always gonna opt for the better parts. And this is why the Anthem MRX740 is all about great sound. Throughout our testing, we found two things that are probably the most important in how good all of these receivers sound. It's the amplifier portion and the digital portion that does all the signal processing. Anthem has put the same type of technology into their receivers as they do in their big separate power amps with massive power supplies that offer your speakers huge current reserves. 
On the digital side, Anthem uses a quad-core processor to extract every nuance of object-based surround information. Then the signal is decoded through premium 32-bit 768 kHz differential output DA converters. This is far better than found in most receivers, and the result is a sound that totally envelops you. Another thing you get with the Anthem receivers is their famous Anthem Room Correction, or ARC Genesis. Each unit comes with a professional style calibrated microphone with a file for that exact mic. You don't have to buy a better calibration microphone as the one included is excellent and it was even upgraded in 2021. Anthem Room Correction is now as good or better than Dirac as they have now given it the ability to blend your subwoofers and set levels and delays. It is also extremely easy to use to fine tune all of your speakers in your room. We also love that the way you can set up four different profiles for the room correction. Think of one for a single listener, one for a crowd, and one for music only. Super cool. You also have room to grow into a full-blown 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos system with preamp outs for future power amps. And taking things to a level no other receiver does, you could reroute amp channels. So let's say you need two more channels to go from the included recommended option of 5.2.2 to 5.2.4. You could purchase a great two-channel power amp for the main two channels and reroute those amp channels to drive any other two channels. Anthem also has almost everything covered on the video side with Dolby Vision, HDR, IMAX Enhanced, and 4K at 60 frames. The MRX740 is not yet 8K or 4K at 120 frames per second game ready for next gen consoles, but you could just as easily connect your gaming console to your TV and get uncompressed Dolby Atmos on the eARC connection. Music streaming is also very seamless with AirPlay 2, Chromecast, and Bluetooth. Plus, there is a future update in the works to include Rune as well. But it's really the sound of the Anthem receivers that win over so many people. So while the MRX740 may only have seven power channels on board, it weighs more than any other receiver on this list so far due to its massive power supply. The sound is more like what you get from separate components with dynamics that make your system really come to life. When you want great sound and only need seven channels for now, but with room to grow, the Anthem MRX740 is the best choice. Now up next is the best full 11 channel Atmos Home Theater receiver. Now the Anthem MRX 1140 is basically an MRX 740 with four additional amp channels, an upgraded toroidal power supply for improved performance, and a few more goodies. We won't repeat all the same great stuff we said about the MRX 40, but what you get is the four additional channels is the ability to install install a complete Dolby Atmos system with left, center, right surround, rear surrounds, top front Atmos, and top rear Atmos speakers with all of the needed amps built right into the receiver. We feel it also sounds slightly better from an audio standpoint than the MRX 740, but the difference is not huge. It's more about having the extra amp channels on board. There are two other things that are really cool when you step up to this one. First, it has processing for 15 channels inside, which means you can go all the way up to a 9.2.6 Dolby Atmos system just by adding a four channel power amp. Secondly, it has two totally independent subwoofer outs. These are tuned individually using the new version of Arc Genesis to perfectly blend each subwoofer, no matter where it is positioned with the rest of your speakers. And to us, that's a huge deal. To learn more about Arc Genesis, watch the video we created in the link below. Now, if you're gonna take a full Atmos dive and get 11 speakers now or later on, this unit offers amazing sound in one package, saving you the space that will be taken up with an additional amp or amps that you would need to add later on to the MRX740. If you're going full-blown Dolby Atmos, then the MRX1140 is our clear winner for less than $5,000. Last but certainly not least is our number one pick for the best home theater receiver if you want the best no holds barred sonic performer. When you are ready for the best all-in-one receiver we have ever heard, step up to the Arcam AVR31. While it only has seven power channels built in, it is from a pure audio standpoint the best sounding receiver we have heard to date and it has some outstanding tech that helps you get the best sound for those of you with more than one sub. 
First, if you've made it this far, you probably love high performance audio gear and you know all about how important digital to analog converters are. The AVR31 uses two ESS9026 Pro audiophile grade DACs with ESS reference voltage regulators. These DACs cost far more than any of the ones in any of the receivers we've covered up to this point. Also, as a high performance person, you might have heard about Class G amplifiers. The ultimate amp class would be a pure Class A which sounds amazing but runs very hot when you get into higher power. Class G runs at pure Class A up to a point, then switches over to Class AB. It may only have seven power channels built in, but it also is by far the heaviest unit on this list at 40 pounds with its huge power supply. The sound of this RCAM is something special, akin to big separate components. You'll have a lot of expansion options with this one since there's processing for 15 channels. Even cooler, there are four assignable outputs. If you're not going to go all the way to 9.1.6, you can assign up to four individual subwoofer outputs and each one can be calibrated independently. For those of us who like multiple subs, this is just fantastic. From a tech perspective, you get full support for HDMI 2.1 with 8K 60 frames per second, 4K 120 frames per second, plus Dolby Vision, HDR10+, HDR10, and HLG. AirPlay 2 and Google Chromecast are also present, and this is the only unit on this list with the better version of Bluetooth with Aptex HD. There's also a Music Life app that lets you stream most of the popular services, and this one is also set up for Rune 2. Whether or not you're a fan of Dolby Atmos, DTSX, or Oro 3D, it can decode any of those, which also makes it unique in this group. You'll get one of our favorite room correction systems with the latest Dirac Live, plus the option of purchasing Dirac Live Bass, which does an incredible job of blending subwoofers to your main speakers. If you want to start out with the very best sound with all sorts of expansion options, the AVR31 is our top choice. It is not cheap, but nothing else has everything in it that you get with this great home theater receiver. Now, hopefully this video has helped you decide on a great path to go down for improving your home theater or media room. If you still need more help, watch our video we made on how to choose a home theater receiver that will link below for you. Our best advice is to just think about where you want to be in the next five years from now. A few extra dollars spent now might allow you to do some more upgrades in the future. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. If you need more help, feel free to give us a call or chat with us on audioadvice.com or just stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.